Hey, welcome back. This video is a quick definition of terms used in sampling methods for research using our trusty coin population. We will define population, sampling frame, sampling unit, and sample. Let's say our study objective is to determine whether our coin population likes bananas or pajamas. Most likely, we need to conduct a survey to ask them about their preference. Let's meet our coin population. Our coin population consists of 4 huge bronze, 24 big dots, 24 small silvers, and 8 tiny golds. They are well distributed and mingle with each other all over our study area. However, we can only get a list of the big dots and small silvers because the tiny golds are too young to participate in any study while the huge bronze are not part of the official coin database yet. When doing research, it is first important to define who or what our study population is or from whom our information will be coming from. And this entire group is also to whom we want to generalize our study results. In our setup, our study population is the entire coin population. Next, we need to identify our sampling frame. A sample frame is just a list of all the possible members of the population that can be included as samples. The sampling frame is therefore a subset of the population. Ideally, the sampling frame should match the population in terms of most characteristics, but in reality, this may not be the case 100% of the time. Common sampling frames include official databases like a master list of all households in a community or the list of all enrolled students, let's say in a university. In our setup, we don't have access to the tiny golds and huge bronze, so we define our sampling frame as the list containing the 24 big dots and the 24 small silvers. Each of these big dots and small silvers will then be our sampling unit. A sampling unit is defined as the individual member of a population that is a potential source of data for our research. Let's say the calculated sample size for our study is 10. And using proper sampling methods, we were able to select these 10 sampling units from our sampling frame. Please view my other videos on the different sampling methods. These 10 are now our samples or the actual sources of the data for our research. These 10 coins will then be the ones to receive our survey forms. And those are the basic definitions of population, sampling frame, sampling unit, and sample used in research. Like and subscribe for more research-related content.